what a weekend. What another weekend so far, I should add. We've still got a game tomorrow of the Premiership. I've been here, as you can see, at the stoop today, where Harlequins at one point led 40 points to three against Bath, and Bath got back into it and ended up losing by just the four points. 40 to 36, the final score. It is the, a division that delivers every single week. So I thought I'd jump back on. Haven't done anything on the Premiership in a while. Haven't done too many videos over the last week or so. So I thought I'd jump back on and just a few thoughts from the Premiership and from what we've seen so far. So welcome back. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you've made of the return of the Premiership, I suppose, what we've seen last week, what we've seen so far this weekend, and just generally how you see the running, because it is absolutely fascinating. And that's one of my biggest takeaways, probably from the last few weeks, is like it's genuinely impossible to call. In that the Premiership's always tight. Usually it's kind of third or fourth, those two away playoff spots is where there's a real fight to get in. And we know who the top two are. This year, it feels to me like there isn't an obvious top two. Northampton have probably, and they're the top of the pile at the moment, have been the best side on the balance of things overall. But we've seen Saracens come good. We saw Harlequins be brilliant today. We've seen Bath be brilliant, although awful in the first half today. Bristol have won their first couple of games since the break as well. Sale seem to be dropping off. There are storylines everywhere. And calling a top four is just impossible, Ver like just ridiculous. And I'm so excited for the run-in because of that. I'll get back to that in just a second. There was one final thing from this game that I wanted to touch upon, which I think could be quite a big talking point. I wasn't particularly aware of it at the time, but it's whether Harlequins had a player return from the Simbin too early. So this is the final 10 minutes of the game and Quins are coming back into it. They're going for the try bonus point. They're trying to get themselves a last couple of scores and Ernie Herbs, the Harlequin second row, got sent to the sim bin. And I'll be honest, on commentary, I thought it seemed like he had come back a bit too early, but I didn't make too much of it because you just think in that sort of situation, you trust that the officials have the correct timekeeping rather than me looking at it and thinking, oh, I thought he should be coming on in a couple of minutes time. It seems like that possibly was the case that he did come on a couple of minutes early, which given the fact that last week we had the situation with the TMO and whether he didn't want to look at a bit of foul play because Austin Healy in the TNT commentary possibly flagged it up. That is a story that is worth keeping an eye on. I don't think there's much that can happen. They can investigate it. Bath, I think, have raised it with the officials and the various powers that be. Much more than that, I don't think there's too much that can change here, but it is 100% a story that we should keep an eye on. And another story which isn't great for the league overall and I just wanted to give it a mention but getting back to the top four race and the final run-in it's really interesting to me that some of the teams that came flying out of the block last week have struggled a lot more from what we've seen this week so Saracens absolutely brilliant against Quinns a week ago they lose to Northampton Northampton really poor against Bristol on Friday night at Ashton Gate a couple of weeks ago when it returned were absolutely brilliant yesterday against Saris Harlequins, the same. Terrible against Saris, were brilliant here today. And Bath, likewise, they had a good victory against Sale and then they've dropped off. Well, in the first half, they dropped off quite a lot. They did get themselves the two bonus points in the end as well. So that I find really interesting that we have seen a different in form of the various teams so far. And, and I suppose it's going to be a case of who is able to be the most consistent. If you can find consistency, then you're going to put yourselves in a very, very good position to be successful at the end of this year. And the flip side of that as well is bonus points. Two bonus points for Bath today is huge because bonus points will have a massive say in where everyone ends up. And when you look at a team like Sale, who so far this season have really struggled to get themselves bonus points, the fact that Bath continue to be able to pick them up two today, again, when they were 43 down, is very, very impressive indeed. So let me know what you make of the Premiership run-in so far. Do you have any idea of who you can see getting into the top four at this moment in time? I think it's way too tight to call. And the final thing to mention as well is the fact that we've got Europe. How do the English teams that are in Europe deal with it? How do they deal with getting knocked out of Europe? How do they deal with it if you're an Exeter or a Bath who play each other next week? How do they deal with it if they are to get through and rotating their squad and all that sort of thing? It is going to be fascinating. I'll leave it there. Comment down below. Make sure you like the video and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Do let me know what you make of the run-in. Who Top four. Just let me know. Premiership is back and it is brilliant.
I'll see you in the next one.